Hey Cancer, thank you so much for joining. So we're going to go ahead and do your love reading. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have the Tower. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands. The Seven of Wands. The Two of Wands. the um, Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands and the Sun. Okay. So I'm very much picking up on a situation here where there has been a lot of like gray area. There's been a lot of either distance or there's been just confusion that has either recently happened or is happening at the moment here. And I feel like I'm hearing somebody say, I want to feel like this again. I want to feel this way again. So with the sun here, the ace of wands and the eight of wands, I feel like a person here who's coming up in your energy may be really wanting to feel some way with you again. I don't know if this was because like there was an argument with the tower or something kind of... Um, I'm getting for some of you though, this may have been a situation where there was a certain bridge that was burned. I don't know if this is a bridge between the two of you yet or this is something else that happened outside of the connection with the tower, but there's definitely been a sense of, um, I'm hearing loneliness. So yeah, I, I definitely get a, a feeling of there's someone connected to you here who is very much feeling this sense of like urgency. They feel a sense of urgency to communicate with you, to come towards you, to reach out to you. I'm getting with the sun too. There's been this huge like light bulb moment with the tower. So I don't know what has kind of transpired or what has shifted here. I'll see a little bit more as we go, but I definitely feel like this person is having some huge like light bulb moment or wake up call and this is, um, again, I'm getting like broken, shattered glass with the tower, so that makes a lot of sense. It feels like something here has, it's come, it's more of like a feeling of avoiding, of a truth or avoiding confrontation. So maybe there's been someone who has been bottling something up for a really long time, or they've been bottling up a certain like even situation around them in their life. It's been sort of contained, it's been bottled up. And it's like now the glass has shattered, it, it bursted. So I feel that it's, I, I feel the sense with the Seven of Swords though, that for whatever reason, maybe this connection is not, it somehow it wasn't like allowed or there's a sense of, I don't know why it's like I'm getting a sense like an envelope you know and there's so much written in the envelope somebody could even be writing you a message or a letter or sending you a long text or something but I'm getting that it's like there's so much in that envelope that maybe couldn't have been revealed for a while or there were circumstances that didn't allow it to be revealed for a while um, and I feel like somebody's having the courage I'm getting a lot, a lot of Leo here too somebody could be having the courage to face this or to want to express it and even if it's not I mean, with the Eight of Wands here, it does feel like there could be some commu communication or movement, but even if not, it just feels like somebody has had this like internal revelation. They've had this sense of like, I want to expose um, everything that's been maybe pent up or false even within me. So there's definitely a sense of that coming through for somebody. Um, some of it could be you too, but I mean, I feel like I'm hearing that you in this situation, how you would know this is for you or one reason is that you are somebody who is very distrustful of the situation or distrustful of this person. So even if they were to, you know, reveal this kind of envelope to you or, or tell you everything, you would be very distrustful of their intentions. Um, so 
yeah, I'm, I'm getting like a feeling of a wall or a barrier that maybe you've put up here too. This person is being guided to you intuitively, which did, has come up recently too, but I'm seeing like a big feather um, and spirits telling me that they're being guided by the universe or being guided spiritually. So depending on how this will fit with you, again, with the tower being here, I wanna confirm, but there may have been either a recent breakup, there may have been an explosion, an argument, or maybe somebody in their own like kind of situation may have recently gone through a huge like upheaval or ending of something um, and it feels kind of fresh. It feels like uh, this tower hit them and they could feel like they may have made a mistake or they may feel like they're, they're with the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. They may even feel a sense of like loyalty or wanting to commit to a connection with you. But I'm also picking up too, there may have been um, external opinions or something like that too. I'm hearing something with an L, Lucia or Louisa or Louise, something with an L name. Also Robert, the name Robert. This person has been feeling very torn though. Okay, they've been feeling torn. Pa yeah, so Page of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Six of Wands. This is again, definitely somebody who feels like they're on the move or they're about to be on the move um, towards you, but they've also been feeling torn. And I'm hearing this person say that they've been very selfish. They feel really regretful about, about being so selfish. So um, again, take this how this will fit with your situation. If this was, it kind of feels like new though to me, like as in this something happened most recently, very, very recently with the tower. But um, this person, regardless, they feel like they've been selfish. They feel like they have been played by their own game, I'm hearing. With the Five of Swords, it's like with the Tower and the Seven of Swords, they kind of got caught in their own game. They got caught in their own situation here. Um, let me see, what's the Seven of Swords? Yeah, I just keep getting a sense here intuitively about somebody who feels like they didn't appreciate what they had when they had it. So it kind of feels with Seven of Cups here to the lovers, I'm sort of picking up this may have been like a may have been a third party situation or may have been a situation where somebody didn't really value or appreciate the connection when they had it. And they're coming up here with the Three of Cups. Um, it's like I feel there's been this maybe understanding or realization of this most recently. But I'm getting that it's like a, it's like a realization that is settling in a, a little bit too late. Um, because I feel with the Queen of Wands here, the Empress, this is probably you, the viewer. And it's almost like I'm getting this person is scared of the sun. It's like you see the Seven of Swords running away from the sun. But in this case, I'm seeing it like a revelation or like a truth that came out here for them. But it's like they're also afraid of the intensity of the sun. So they could even be afraid maybe of you in certain ways. Or they're even afraid of like what they've done, sort of, if that makes sense. Um, it's like I'm just getting a very like battered energy somebody who's feel, feeling very battered and bruised there's a lot of energy kind of chaotic energy around this um, Yeah, we have the High Priestess and the Hierophant, which can be a counterpart of like a spiritual connection here. 
how they're feeling about you. Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, this person I feel, it's like they've had, um, it's like they're yearning for something higher up, kind of, and I feel like that's you. Yeah, it's like it's very similar or some of it's similar. It's a little bit different, but this this energy is similar to the other collective readings I did. It's like somebody who feels like they're very tongue tied. It's like they're all twisted in multiple directions and they don't know how to kind of um, like articulate this or to converse how they're feeling, converse with you how they've been feeling here. So I feel in terms of whoever this is and how they feel about you, it's like I'm getting that they are very much feeling I'm hearing catapulted, so they could even feel with the tower that they're being urged or, or pushed somehow into your direction here at the moment. I'm also getting too that they want to make things right. So for those of you who this may have been a recent tower moment, um, they really want to be able to bridge that and kind of make it right. They don't feel settled about it. They don't feel okay with some type of ending or um, argument or breakup or just like something that ha has happened here with the tower. And I'm getting this person to say that they've been in tunnel vision and they know this. They've been in tunnel vision about something in their life. Um, and I think that, uh, again, there's a lot of energy coming up here, so it's kind of all over the place. But they've been feeling that they ha have been in tunnel vision and they almost like have a wake up call. Again, I'm getting like almost like somebody who's been sleepwalking um, and then they get startled awake and they realize the truth of everything around them kind of. So could be with the, the, the devil here too in the tower, this person definitely could have gone through like a big spiritual shift or awakening. Um, maybe some of you are also feeling this way too. But it's like I'm getting to this person could be somebody who has been walking on eggshells around their environment. I don't know why, but they may have been feeling like they've been walking on eggshells. They've been trying to keep everything together. They've been trying to contain everything. And then eventually the, the ball kind of drops and, and everything crashes with the tower. So this person, again, they really do feel like you are somebody who stands out from anybody else. They are looking at you as the empress and that you have stood out for a long time or just like whatever your situation is if it's something that like they entertained other options recently or they went into a, a different direction they feel like there's something about you with the empress that that is special that can't be replaced and so you are the one here coming up as the empress the ten of pentacles the hierophant um, even somebody who's very spiritual you could be in a high position of like you you have a lot going for you you're in a high position somehow or you just are glowing and this person is running around. I'm getting like a vision of somebody with their, like a chicken with its head cut off. So again, there's a lot of chaotic energy here in this reading. So it's hard to pinpoint like what happened or who's who here. But I mean, I do feel, well, I know this is them, but it's like, I feel this person is running around with a tower. Cause this is very, this is like a, an energy of a shakeup, you know, chaos. So there could even be like a whole lot of change happening in somebody's environment right now. Um, if it is between the two of you directly, maybe you feel like there's been so much that has been shaken up, but I can also see this being this person's life and this person's reality, just like everything that they knew. Um, even getting to, it could be their belief systems with the Eight of Cups, something more deeply ingrained that's been like a, a deep-seated belief system that they've held on to or something where everything kind of just crashed down. I'm getting this person is super like in their mind at least they're super dedicated to wanting to overcome any hiccup or hurdle that may have happened between you both so this person i'm seeing them kind of like they they don't want to be in a state of of this energy anymore they, they don't they want to be able to yeah the chariot the king of cups and the seven of pentacles could be a water sign um they want to be they're really like dedicated to this connection even though it's very chaotic right now they feel like in their heart and their mind they're very dedicated so I'm hearing sleepless nights. So with the tower, this person could also be having sleepless nights. It may not always be or only be about you, but I mean, some of it could be the justice here. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I feel it just really feels like there's been this kind of almost like 
hand of karma that was dealt to this person. But but they It's like they avoided it for so long. This person could have pushed this down for a very long time and avoided the truth. And so eventually the universe is going to kind of like slap it back into their face that they avoided a truth for a very long time, if that makes sense. So I feel like that's why the tower has now fallen. So with the justice, it's like, you you know, you can't really avoid that. You can't avoid with the, that's why I said with the seven of swords, I feel this person's been running from the truth. Okay, with the sun, they've been running from a truth which, which, which stems from themselves, but it can also involve you. Let me get a few oracle cards here. I'm hearing the name Tom or Thomas. only you yeah so see how it kind of flew out and then it wanted to fly back in confessions with the eight of wands yeah definitely somebody who I feel has been thinking a lot right now about confessing something to you but I'm getting that they have to deal with this first okay so it's almost like a person who is they have all this like again chaos and um, tower moment has crashed down and the, but they but they have to deal with something first so I feel like they may have to deal with their circumstances but they also may have to deal with just themselves too with the seven of swords so this is somebody who's very much in the middle of a storm kind of like if, a, if like a hurricane and they're in the eye of the storm maybe but the rest of it is coming you know so this person definitely has to go through this uh, first we have second chance illusion yeah so here's the karmic lessons past life repeated patterns this is definitely somebody who again with a second chance they're very much thinking about wanting to have a second chance with you um, but it's really does feel a bit like a too little too late situation that could be the truth of it or that's just like the situation that was it's like they had to go through this to lose this or to lose you to realize what really was important kind of you know so even if you do kind of accept this person back or, or we'll see what the outcome is going to be but um it still seems like they had to go through it anyway regardless of what you do or what you want so this person i'm getting like a stomach ache somebody is really like just not feeling good and again this may not be only like about you it could be things that they have going on that have led to this tower that is making them feel almost like just like they're churning their stomach is churning we have apprehensive we have infatuation so this person I feel like they they have this like that could be also with this stomach ache it's like there's an intensity with the Sun I don't know ace of wands a Sun there's some type of like strong intensity coming from this person whoever they are and it's almost like it kind of makes them feel nervous or it makes them feel um, I don't know why it's like let me see something here what else Some of them are even trying to push down even further how they feel. So it's like you're trying to push it down even though it can't be pushed down anymore. With the Seven of Swords, someone's been trying to run from this feeling for so long. And it's almost like they're still trying to do it even though the tower is here, if that makes sense. So it's like you can't, if the building is already crumbled, how can you go back to that building? How can you climb up it? But it's like somebody who's trying to like desperately still climb up this building that's crashing. So this person here, um, yeah, see at the bottom we have clarity, feminine energy, and heart song. Their intuition here with the three of wands. Um, again, a lot of feminine. This is definitely for those of you who do identify, even with maybe being in a twin flame connection or um, somebody who's a divine feminine. It's like I'm getting this person almost like wants to rush. Yeah, again, they're going through a lot of pain right now, loss, how they're feeling here. 
And again, I keep getting a fighting energy, like almost like I'm seeing somebody on a kayak and they're trying to go up the river, like, and you can't do that. Yeah, see, clashing. This person, I feel they've been really trying to... Um, it's just like a feeling of the universe trying to course correct them every time they have been trying to go off the path and veer off the path. So... Let me get a few, actually, let me see. I'm hearing the song, Simple Things by Miguel. And it does talk about just wanting to have a simple, kind of like just be with somebody in their pure essence, just being with somebody because you love being around them, not because of what they have or who they are. So I'm just hearing that song here, but let me see a little bit more. It's like the energy is coming up is so hard to like even pick up on the details of it because it's like so frazzled. It's like, here's the sun again at the bottom and here's the book of secrets. Yeah, see, and here's the loyalty. It's like I'm getting a, like a, if you put an electric, like something in the electrical outlet and it's like, I don't know, it's like frazzled, it's hard to ground it. So this is very chaotic right now. But um, it's like they're keeping this idea in their heart, but I think that's why it's not coming through as like action yet. See, courthouse and the moon. It's like somebody who is I guess to simplify it, it's somebody who's going through, could even be going through a legal battle right now or something, again, very challenging with the tower, the courthouse, the justice. Um, so this is someone I'm picking up on today who's really in the middle of it right now, really in the middle of this depths of, of, of de challenge and difficulty. But with the moon here, they are trying again to like hold on to hold on to almost like their old lifestyle but it's it's coming to the surface with the book of secrets and the sun and as when it comes to you it's like i feel this person deep it's like deep within their heart this is how they feel for you but it's like they can't really focus on it right now because of this i hope that makes sense it's like somebody who's having these revelations and having these deep kind of understandings but they almost like can't they, they're trying to manage everything at the moment but and that's how it feels, you know, when you go through this kind of tower moment. So right now the energy is very fresh, it feels. It's very new or it's very, um, a lot to deal with. But in the kind of the depths of it all, they are looking at you as somebody who holds kind of the key with this loyalty in the Empress and they, and they know that. So... Let's see. Yep, so change, mature man, and we have journey here. Yeah, again, it's somebody who is really maturing a lot because of their circumstances, and they could even be uh, making a really big change, of course, with the tower, the journey. So I feel for most of you, this is probably somebody who you have um, either been in like a separation with, and this is what they're going through, or even maybe somebody who you have freshly broken up from or freshly had this like turbulent situation with, and they are, again, really coming to a lot of deep conclusions and understandings within themselves with the sun, maybe even to become a more mature man or woman. Um, and I feel like it's like one step at a time here. 
It's like I'm, I'm also hearing this person is getting rid of any false people or false, yeah, the death card. I mean, wow, there's a lot going on here, a lot of change, a lot of endings. Um, they're trying to get rid of any false people, false energies. Yeah, so at the bottom of the deck here, I mean, the moon, the devil, the hermit, the, ace, the two of swords, and the queen of wands, which I feel is you here for most of you. So they're really just... Um, Basically, I don't feel like there's a whole lot of maybe movement at the moment in your direction unless there's confession, but they're still kind of on the verge of that, I feel, because this is somebody who is going to be having to navigate this big shift and ending first with the death card and the sun. I'm even getting like maybe even like a depression here or grief or, or something very... Yeah, very tough. The Four of Cups and the Temperance card. So yeah, slow and steady. The Knight of Pentacles. Like somebody who's just, okay, I need to change this. I need to, obviously this is whatever this was is over. This this other situation or these belief systems or these long buried secrets, these um, karmic connections, these false things have come to an end. Maybe because they've ignored it for a while. But now it's like they have to just slowly kind of get on this horse and just five miles per hour just walk forward because they're moving into a completely new horizon which i feel is going to require time healing could even be like recovery or therapy or um you know if it's an addiction or something could even be some type of, of rehabilitation there's just something that's going to be very much of a like a slow steady progress into the right direction here um, into healing I'm also hearing this person could be somebody who is beginning to go into more spiritual things and understand. I mean, wow, the upheaval again. Uh, they could be trying to go more into spiritual topics or just, it's like I'm just getting a vision of somebody like spending time in a cabin in the woods by themselves and just maybe writing and reflecting and just going deeper within after this storm has passed with the upheaval. Yeah, so letting go. There's a huge kind of relief here with the sun and the death card, and we have clinging, and we have running. So yeah, see all of this, pretend. It's like just basically the mask has melted off for somebody. The the falsity, the running, the, you know, all of it has had to reach a moment of just melting away. So that's why it's not even clear, even though we had some of it come through directly about you, because it's like this whole shift has to take place first. But let's see, whoever this is, what would they want to say to you? Just take these how they will fit with you. I'm trying to find ways to get your attention. I don't know if you're interested anymore. I get lost in thoughts of you when I'm listening to certain songs. Do we have something like that come through or? I don't know if I, maybe I just thought about it, but yeah, this person could be listening to music when thinking about you. Um, at the bottom, we do have family. So again, with the Hierophant here too, Ten of Pentacles, there may have been family obligations, family pressures, family challenges. The gap between us keeps growing further apart and I don't know how to close it. So that's especially true if this has been maybe a while um, that you have not talked to this person. And again, it's like with the tower, the justice, this is mainly picking up, I feel, on somebody else's like life right now and somebody else's energy and what they're just navigating at the moment and um, not knowing how to face kind of the, the things that they've had to, that they've buried.
Yeah, so drama. I don't want to complicate the situation any more than it already is. And that's what I'm saying. I feel especially if this is if this person's going through like a legal battle right now or if there's just all of this turmoil, they don't want to do anything hasty at the moment. So if you are waiting for like a communication or conversation and you know this is your story, this is definitely somebody who feels like they just need to calmly again kind of gather their bearings and move forward. Um so yeah, this story may not be for everyone because it feels it feels quite maybe specific or intense. We have doorstep. I was I am thinking about showing up and surprising you one day. So that's where I feel they they want to like with the eight of wands here, infatuation only you. This person could even have like this uh, maybe very infatuated energy with you at times, or they feel very drawn and drawn to you. And so they could even want to like just show up randomly, especially with the journey. Maybe they do. Maybe you're at a distance for some of you, or um, this person could just want to hop on the plane or in the car and just escape kind of in a way. Yeah, I need to find a way out because I can't be here anymore. Again, the tower, this is somebody who could be leaving behind maybe even a marriage, um, a situation in their life, a family drama, a relationship. Yeah, so probably this is confirming it was. it's probably another person. It doesn't have to be for all of you. It could be that they've just... They've been see. I've been even though I'm with somebody else, I still think about you all the time, and that's where you're coming through as the Empress here. These cards are flying out. Um, let's see. Yeah, so it's easier sometimes to fill the void with superficial encounters. I don't know who I am yet. And at the bottom, we have glow up. You've changed and I have definitely noticed. So yeah, I will say, I feel like this person, they're not like in a hurry or a rush for anything at the moment. This is mainly a storyline for somebody who needed confirmation of maybe what somebody is going through in their own personal life right now and um, and what it means for, for you in this connection. But they are really having to sit with this right now first. So that's what I'm getting here. And they may have seen that since this time has happened, maybe that you've changed a lot. So let me get one final advice card for you. So I don't know who this story would be for. Um, again, don't force it if it's not your story because it feels like it may be specific. What is the advice for the viewer? A date or an invitation is near. So... Um, you could receive a date or an invitation with Eight of Wands, Confession, or maybe even a new person. Assert yourself with others and keep your feet firmly planted on the ground. So I feel Spirit's wanting you to know that this is definitely whatever the situation will kind of be for you. Um, definitely keep your feet firmly planted on the ground. Make sure you're making the, the right decision for you, especially if this is a situation involving a lot of drama right now and you're in the middle of it. Or if you do hear from this person, it's like, um, you know, maybe just making sure that things are balanced and even with the temperance card. And even if, again, some of you will communicate or if you are communicating, it's going to require like patience and time and things evening out, you know, like the, the storm passing and just the sun coming out and, and the wind dying down. Yes, boundaries. Clear boundaries are needed in the situation or relationship. Protect and honor your energy in a balanced way. Spend time alone if needed and reconnect when you're ready. Set healthy boundaries that are necessary and learn when to say no. We also have children, so children could be a factor here as well. One more card for the outcome spirit. Have faith. Trust in the decisions you've made regarding the situation or relationship. You are on the right path for you at this moment. Have more faith in the direction that you're going towards and take a leap of faith towards new beginnings. The right doorways will be opened and revealed to you. So yeah, especially true if those of you are in the middle of this yourself, um, have faith in any decision you've recently made and know that the right doors are going to open regardless of how this will fit with your situation. 
So I hope that this could help somebody. Um, definitely let me know if this connects with you. And thank you so much for tuning in. I will talk to you next time. Take care and lots of love. Love. Love.